Hello friends, welcome to Daikin Japanese Institute of Manufacturing Excellence, abbreviated as DJME. This institute was born from the Memorandum of Cooperation signed between the Indian and Japanese Prime Ministers in the year 2016. As per this MOC, different institutes would be set up in India to train Indian youth on Japanese manufacturing skills. There were four companies selected to drive this initiative and Daikin was one of them. This project sought to resolve crisis for both countries, that is improve employability for Indian youth, at the same time make Japanese companies thrive in the market. Daikin started its first batch of JIM from its existing training center ACDC with a batch of 30 girls. With this, Daikin had established its intent of making its industry and the workforce more gender inclusive. In the year 2018, the Rajasthan government offered us a land of five acres to develop a new campus. Construction followed immediately and we were ready with the first phase in 2020. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we were disrupted with a start. Now we are ready to start operations from this new campus. Let me take you through a short tour of the world-class, state-of-the-art skill campus, the first of its kind in this industry. Daikin has already trained three batches and with this new campus, we plan to run several more courses. These courses will be the in, in the area of Japanese manufacturing, which is accepted worldwide. As you already know, Japanese manufacturing practices like 5S, Kaizen, Karakuri, 3M, Jidoka, Hiariato and many more are well renowned across the trade and across the world. Students will learn these techniques that will not only make them more employable in Japanese companies, but also in global multinational corporations. Where we stand now is the reception area of DJM. Let me take you to the site map, which will explain to you the entire project and how we proceed to make the phase two as well. Where we stand is the site map of the five acre campus. As we've discussed, this is the admin or the academic block which we have already developed and which we are about to show to you. Uh, in a second phase, we are going to develop the residential block, the boys hostel, the girls hostel. There's a separate block for mess and canteen. There's a block for recreation and a staff quarters. As you can see, there's ample of playground area which the students can utilize after their learning hours. In this academic block, there are a total of six practical rooms, six lecture rooms, four counseling rooms, one computer lab come library, one conference room, one admin office, and one faculty office. All the practical rooms are on the ground floor, and this is where the students will spend majority of their time. There's one room for RA units, one room for VRV and LCOM units, one dojo room for assembly shop, one machine shop, one weld shop, and one brazing room. Let me take you through all these rooms in more detail. The idea was to create a green, self-contained and self-sustainable campus so that students have a conducive atmosphere to learn and absorb their lessons. Focus and special emphasis would be provided on developing mind and body as we want students to inculcate not only skills required but also the attitude needed to excel on the job. This is the practice room for RASAPA products. RA is room or residential air conditioning unit. SA is Sky Air or Cassette Unit, PA is Packaged Air Conditioner or Ductable Units. Let's take a tour of this room. RASA Practical Class is a work area where young minds can learn new skills through hands-on, do-it-yourself mode. Students will get the opportunity to work with the latest tools and equipments used in order to better understand HVAC concepts. The practical class contains inverter and non-inverter, indoor and outdoor units with full product range and technical specifications from 0.8 to 16 tons of refrigeration. This lab is capable of carrying out different activities from learning basic concepts of air conditioning to installing RASADU products to conducting routine service and maintenance, troubleshooting, remote controller operations and understanding advanced features and benefits of the products. All RA units manufactured by Daikin uses the HFC32 refrigerant. This is the most environment-friendly refrigerant available in the world today. 
It has zero ODP, which is ozone depleting potential, and very low GWP, which is the global warming potential. The Daikin Chemical Division invented this refrigerant around two decades back, and today it has been made available in the open market. So it's not just Daikin, but other companies are also too buying this refrigerant to make the world more environment friendly. This room has 11 RA units, nine inverter and two non-inverter units. As you are all aware of, that Daikin has been spearheading in inverterizing the air conditioning market and providing more energy efficient air conditioners to its discernible customers. There are four SkyAir air conditioners or cassette type air conditioners in this practical lab. As you can see, uh, two non-inverter and two inverter units. Uh, cassette type air conditioners have applications in commercial segments as well as some high-end residential segment. We have two packaged air conditioners or ductable units as we call them in our parlance in this room. This is the second practice room which is for VRV and LCOM, variant refrigerant vol volume and light commercial products. Come let's have a tour. VRV is mostly used in commercial spaces like offices, restaurants, hotels, malls as life cycle cost of a VRV is much less than a traditional HVAC unit. Daikin has also now launched VRV home series so a lot of residential segments are using the VRV technology. VRV requires specialized skills so only once people have been trained on installation and troubleshooting of RASA units are they put on the VRV technology. There are multiple indoor units like RA, SA and PA products as you can see installed above. Total there are 15 indoor units ranging from 4 to 60 HP which are connected to one VRV outdoor system. There are a total of 6 VRV outdoor units installed in this room. 4 VRV X units, 2 on this side, 2 on the other end of the room. 1 VRV S unit on my left and 1 VRV home audio on my right. We have simulated a com controller board which is used in a VRV system to manage the refrigerant flow in each section. This is the controller board on display. Now this is the third practical room which is the dojo room or assembly skill training room. Let me take you inside. There are various trainings that are given in this lab. Trainees are made aware about the safety and safety of other co-workers Students are given practical and theoretical training on OSAs, firefighting, PPE and 6S. This is the quality station by providing training in visual inspection, leak testing, fitment inspection, 7QC tools, trainees are taught to test the quality and workmanship of a constructed model. In assembly station, there are various trainings that are given, for example, tools training in which students are made to go through different tools used in the, in the industrial atmosphere. Next is AC indoor and outdoor assembly training. Fitment training is given on how to fit the AC and the assembly exercise is done on the conveyor to train students how to complete the work in time. This is the screw tightening section. Students are taught on how to apply screw in different positions and practice screwing on the conveyor belt. This is our fourth practice room. It is the machine shop. Let me take you inside and explain the various machines in this room. In today's times, the need of skilled and trained operators is increasing in industries. Therefore, keeping in mind the current industrial requirements, DJME has started teaching various types of machine skills to the young talents. In this lab, there are advanced machines which are on display, like bent saw, lath machine, table drill machine, milling machine, service grinder and time maintenance. Let us have a look at each of these machines. This is a surface grinder. It is a handheld power tool commonly used to cut, grind and polish metal. Also known as a side or a disc grinder, it is driven by means of an electric motor. This is a bent saw machine. This machine is used to teach material cutting process. This is a lath machine. It is a production machine tool which is used to remove metals from a workpiece and provide a desired shape or size to the workpiece. This is a table drill machine. 
Job work is performed with this machine and training is given on how to drill on the job. This is a milling machine. It's very commonly used in manufacturing process, machinery shops and industries. Many operations are done with milling machine and any type of object big or small can be used with this machine. This is a die maintenance. It is used in making of a product. Repairing of the shortcomings in it is taught to the students. This is a fifth practical room, the brazing shop. Let me tell you the different brazing stations which are there in this room. Brazing is a part of welding. This is a highly desired skill as it is sought in almost all industries. Brazing is extensively used in automobile industry, but also in air conditioning, it is a necessary feature in AC installation. Keeping in mind the industrial requirements, all types of brazing are taught in DJME like copper brazing, brass brazing, aluminium brazing, silver brazing, etc. Different types of pipes, filler rods and fluxes are used to teach brazing. Let us give you a description of all the brazing stations in this lab. In this lab, there are a total of 11 brazing stations, 8 stations where we teach brazing. There are 2 stations in which on brazing on heat exchanger is taught and 1 station where brazing on the conveyor belt is taught. In today's times, the need of skilled and trained operators in industries is increasing. Therefore, keeping in mind the present industrial requirements, DJME will be teaching various types of safety and assembly process training to the young students. Select stations have been set up in this workshop for safety, quality and assembly training in the DJME laboratory. These stations will impart knowledge and skills that have huge application in all industries, especially air conditioning manufacturing industry. This is a sixth and final workshop, which is the welding workshop. Let me tell you the different and advanced welding technologies we are using in this workshop. Please come in. Welding is one such skill that can open up new avenues for professionals. Welders are hard to find as it requires specialized training and long hours of practice. In today's time, industries are incomplete without fabrication of shop welding. Whether it is building work, aeroplane work, welding is required everywhere. Therefore, keeping in mind the present industrial requirements, DJME has started teaching various types of welding in which, apart from manual welding, advanced welding is also being taught. At DJME, we have installed a welding simulator, which is a virtual welding machine, to improve the basic techniques of welding. This not only saves a lot of material cost, but also ensures that students learn the technique of welding safely on a simulator before practicing on real tools and machinery. Through welding simulator, the welder is trained on all types of welding like MIG, TIC and ARC welding. They learn all types of welding positions like downward, horizontal, vertical and overhead welding. These are different st welding stations in this laboratory. There are three stations for CO2 welding, one station for ARC welding, one station for TIG welding. Apart from this, there's one lab for spot and projection welding, one lab for westing, welding testing lab, one for metal grinding, and one lab for plasma cutting. Now let me take you into one of the CO2 welding labs and see how welding is taught to students. This is the lecture room. We have six of them. Let us take you inside one of them. We are standing in one of the lecture rooms. Each of this lecture room has a capacity to, to seat 40 students at any point of time. So we can host 240 students in this campus at any given time. The lecture rooms have been designed in such a manner that there's a lot of natural light which is important for learning. There are three classrooms placed on the left and three on the right side of the building. As you can see, there are partitions in each of these classrooms. So whenever we have a larger audience, we can open the partition to host a larger audience. The room is equipped with audiovisual and state-of-the-art furniture as we want to give this experience to students that this is the standard of Daikin. आपको ये डाइकिन डीजेएमई कोर्स के बारे में 
कहाँ से और कैसे पता चला मेरा नाम जहांगीर अंसारी हुआ आ, मैं बेसिकली सिवान बिहार के रहने वाला हूँ और आ, मेरी जो ग्रेजुएशन हुई है बंसल इंस्टीट्यूट भोपाल से हुई है और आ, हमें जो डी जे एम का जो इन्फॉर्मेशन मिला था लिंकड इन मिला था और यहाँ आने के बाद से आ, मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा इन्वामेंट फैकल्टीज़ का और मैनेजमेंट का और यहाँ पर जो भी लोग हैं उनसे बिहेवियर और बात करने का तरीका सब अच्छा लगा और यहाँ का इन्वायरमेंट बहुत अच्छा है और यहाँ पे जो प्रोग्राम है एच स्किल इन्हेंस प्रोग्राम है जिसमें एयर कंडीशनिंग से रिलेटेड एच हीटिंग वेंटिलेशन एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग से रिलेटेड जो भी डाइकिंग करती है उसके हिसाब से हमारी ट्रेनिंग होगी और प्रैक्टिकल होंगे After joining this DJ IME course here at Daikin Institute, uh, I think this course will give a real boost to my future endeavors as I have as I'm going to learn a lot of techniques related to Japanese manufacturing. Thank you. ये course हमारे लिए काफी महत्वपूर्ण है और सबके लिए अच्छा रहेगा उनके future के लिए भी और और सभी student के लिए और company के जितने भी employment है उनके लिए भी बहुत अच्छा सीखने के लिए मौका है यहाँ पर आकर How do you like the new DJME campus? Campus is having all the good facilities like a cafeteria, laboratories, classrooms, lecture rooms and garden in the middle. Thank you. Where we are standing is the computer lab cum library. On my right hand side there are workstations to accommodate 24 Uh, desktop machines students will be provided computer skills like word ms excel and presentation skills on my left hand side you have racks where library books will be kept so students in their free time can just browse through different books which are both available in physical form as well as on online form in the machines this is the conference room this is mostly to be used by staff but for virtual trainings this room will double up as a training facility for trainers who are sitting in remote location and students can access that virtual training sitting in this room this is the faculty office so we have total of 12 workstations in this office so 12 plus 8 20 at any point of time we can have 20 staff working in djme we also have four counseling rooms here so for any student teacher one on one interaction these counseling rooms can be used this is the cafeteria this is where students and staff are going to have the meals uh, there's a total capacity of 48 people who are going to have their meals here we have an attached kitchen where food will be prepared fresh and provided to the students with this my friends we come to the end of the tour i hope you enjoyed it remember this is just the start together we can contribute to nation building and societal development by upskilling our youth and making them more employable in the industry on behalf of the entire fraternity of daikin me and my team wish you all the very best goodbye stay safe stay healthy sayonara